What's up? This is your friend, Aaron Malpico with another low budget, low quality sneaker review. Uh, welcome, welcome back guys. I know we, I know I've been away for a while. I took a little break. Uh, I was getting too careless with my purchases. Just wanted to knock myself down a little. Just wanted to give it some time, especially because what I just picked up, oh my gosh, it was, it's worth the wait. It's, it's always worth the wait guys. So uh, I just want to show you guys what I've been up to. Uh, in fact, there will be another video dropping later this month of a do it yourself video that I'm doing with my best friend. We're actually going to be customizing our own sneakers. Uh, we just need them to arrive and then we'll go ahead and play with them, get artistic with them. I wasn't really an artistic kid growing up. I could never stay within the lines. Anytime I had to turn in an art project, I just got a blank canvas and I just threw paint on it and called it good, called it abstract. But with this, I'm going to take my, my time on this. So I just wanted to jump into this video uh, by letting you guys know I haven't forgotten about you. I'm here. Uh, I won't forget you guys. I'm loyal to the 41 original subscribers. And uh, let's get to it. I mean, let's just do it. This video is going to be a little bit different. I hope you enjoy the format. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Now, the box wasn't too much to look at. In fact, it was pretty beat up. And that's how GOAT described it as pretty beat up. It's kind of mushed, but it's different than other ASICs um, boxes. You may see this is an ASICs Tiger box. It came in all gray uh, with ASICs Tiger's word on the front and across the sides. This shoe is a collaboration between Rotterdam-based retailer Woi, and I'm sorry if I butcher that. They opened their doors back in 2007. This was actually a 10-year anniversary um, since they even opened. On this occasion, them and ASICs came together to deliver a special project inspired by typical 80s fabric. In fact, this shoe is actually called the Vintage Nylon. The shoe is dressed up as a soft gray nylon on the toe box and darker gray suede on the overlays, spiced up with some nice soft and pink details. Um, even on, It's got the Woi branding on the back um, and it's finished with 3M materials on the tongue. Uh, but overall, it's a really, really nice shoe. I love the shoelaces, although I am going to change them to the pink. As mentioned, the shoe's inner toe box are, are nylon, which makes it really breathable, while the panels are swathed in smooth suede with alternate colors on the shoe's medial and lateral. As you can see, the video also shows that the insoles are different colors. One is black, the one on the right foot, the one on the left is pink. There you see the A6 tag. Um, on the reverse, there was a Woi. But overall, this is such a cool shoe. I can't believe I found these in my size. Dead stock at a reasonable price. These shipped straight from the Netherlands. There is a possibility they came straight from their store. This is the greatest import the Netherlands has given the world since Ruud van Nistelrooy. Pair of Asics came with three different laces. These pink ones that are ropey with uh, accents of gray. These flat gray laces that have woey front written across them. I like those as well, but I'm tired of flat laces. And then you get regular gray rope laces. It's really cool that they provided three different options for you to alternate as it came with the default. I am leaning towards the pink. Those are my favorite. I feel like it makes it pop. Okay, so here's a 360 degree view of the shoes in slow motion just for your viewing pleasure because I had fun recording this. As a reminder, these shoes released back on November 4th, 2017. So they just turned four years old. Um, these retailed at 150 euros, um, but I got them off the GOAT website. Uh, not for what they're currently listed. In fact, uh, the box being damaged helped. The shoes itself are in great condition. There's some little scratches here and there, but nothing too worry, nothing too noticeable. Overall, I'm really happy with the quality of this. I hope that ASICs and Woi come together maybe for their 15 year anniversary, which I guess would be next year and make another dope pair because um, these have such cool vibes. I feel like these are wearable with almost any outfit and they'll definitely turn some heads. As I remember, um, as I remember telling you guys, stop sleeping on Asics. These are amazing. They're super comfortable. I just don't have enough words to describe them. Um, this is like my sixth pair of Asics Gel Light 3s and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I am thinking I do want to start messing around with Gel Light 5s, but I am scared that it's going to open up a new can of worms and it's just going to make this addiction even harder. But overall, I mean, they're great.
All right, let's go over the details. So now I changed to the pink laces that match the pink hits on the inner liner, as well as on the exterior of the midsole, as well as those two reflective 3M dots. We have A6 branding on the midsole, as well as Gel Light 3 across the back panel. And then on the heel, you have more A6 branding. You have Gel written in there. You have Woi logo. Here's where you can tell that the A6 logos change colors. Uh, one is black, one is pink. You got the speckled heel sole, I guess if you want to call it, and A6 branding on the bottom of the sole. Overall, I just think the shoe works so well. And the color template just complements one another. Um, as you know, typical gel light three, split tongue, nothing out of the ordinary there.